Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, I will show how to upload that data from S3 bucket to Snowflake table. I had a video before where I shown how to upload that data from hard disk to S3 storage, S3 Amazon S3 storage. Now to do so, to bring that S3 bucket file into Snowflake, what we have to do is we have to make a empty table into Snowflake. Say, I have a database called MyDB and inside the MyDB, I have a schema called Bank Schema. So inside the Bank Schema, I want to make a new table. The name of the table should be UK Bank. So here I mention the name of all the columns where so there should be nine columns. The reason I put it nine columns is because this is the file which I already uploaded from hard disk to our S3 bucket. So this is my S3 bucket stage. So in this S3 bucket, say S3 B3, this is the bucket name. And in there, I have uploaded this file UK Bank Customer CSV, which is a CSV file. This file is having nine columns from customer till balance and 4014 rows. That's why into the Snowflake, we have to mention the name of the column sequentially as it is into the um, CSV file. That's why we have to mention that. So once if I run this line, there will be a table generated into um, bank schema. Once if we refresh this uh, list, we will see that new table be generated in here named UK Bank. And from the right, from the uh, this over over, you can see that only zero rows. So there is no rows in this table. So now our job is to bring the data from S3 Swiss to this table. To do so, we have to make a stage into Snowflake. To make a stage into the Snowflake, what we have to do is we have to click the database and into the database, as you can see, stage is selected. So we have to make a, create a new stage. So to make a stage, what we have to do is, we have to go to the database and then in database staging area. Into that staging area, say I have a, a stage which I already made my S3. So to, to show you guys, I want to make a new one. Say so let's see if we want to make a, Amazon S3 and if we click S3, so let's make a name. So say my S3, hmm, S3 new. And then the URL in this case, I'm gonna be name of the stage, which is, you can see from here, Jelani S3 B3, S3 slash B3. This is the name of the stage. So in this case, I have to make, uh, put my, Amazon um, key ID, which you can get from this credential. So if you go to your account and you can see create, say, see the secret credential, in there, they will have a access key ID and access secret key. So this is the access secret key, which you can get the copy paste from here to your staging in here, this area, control B. And whenever we make a, this, whenever we make a, a new access key uh, during that time, we got a password. So I saved that password into a one into this area, which is called AWS secret key, copy paste. Once after I get both AWS key ID and secret access key, and I have say finish, which I get a new staging, in the name of the stage is called my S3 new. Once after I made the mm, uh, staging in that bucket area, which I, you can see in this screen, after then we have to upload the data from that bucket to uh, Snowflake, which is pretty straightforward, just two line of code, which is like copy into this table, which we made recently from S3 new, so name of the bucket which we made uh, recently is 
uh, my s3 new we have to write down in here my s3 new in this from this uh, my s3 new file format is csv file and then skip the first rows as name of the of uh, name of the column so if you run this to line the data file gonna be bring into the staging area first and then into this data table so once if you refresh this you will see that the data is came to this table if you search view preview the data you will see this data table which came actually from this staging area from which we uh, this as3 staging area which uh, which we put in here from our hard disk so we have to remember that to upload the data into a uh, snowflake through s3 bucket you have to follow a couple of things first of all you have to upload the data from your hard disk to s3 and then from your s3 bucket to snowflake via staging so this is the step you have to follow exactly as it is sequentially to avoid any hassle so this was the discussion until now those who didn't subscribe to this channel please do so until then enjoy this video and goodbye thank you